I request the Meghalaya program officers to come forward. After Meghalaya, we have Mizoram. I request the program officers of Mizoram to come to the stage. I request the program officers of Mizoram to come forward. After Mizoram, we have Nagaland. I request the program officers of Nagaland to come to the stage. The Nagaland program officer, please to come forward. After Nagaland, we have Sikkim. I request the program officer of Sikkim to come forward. I request the program officers of Sikkim to come forward to the stage. After Sikkim, we have Tripura. I request the program officers of Tripura to come forward. The program officers of Tripura. Finally, we have the Programs Officer of University of Science and Technology in Meghalaya. I request the Program Officers of University of Science and Technology in Meghalaya to come forward for the acceptance of their certificates. Mr. Justin Becker, Mr. Hawk, Mr. Michel, Mr. Youngin, Mr. Sharma, and the young men and women from the womb of eight sisters of the Northeast India. Well, uh, you have spent five, year, five days here, very active five days, I have been informed. And I am sure every bit of these five days would be a memory for all of you as you grow older. I congratulate all of you and also the congratulate the teams which have won the first and the second positions in various competitions. It is very strange that Sikkim the landlocked state has secured the first position. If we relate Sikkim 
to growth parameters in Indian states. Sikkim today stands out as one of the best states in economic prosperity and human well-being. So I was not surprised that Sikkim stood first. And the second was Manipur. And I am really not surprised in Manipur also they became second. Because despite all the travails of insurgency, violence, ethnic conflict, the small state of Manipur stands out in India in sports and cultural activities. No state of the size of Manipur has done that much of pride for India in sports and culture as Manipur has done, which includes Maricom, whose film, Hindi film Maricom, has won international awards. So I congratulate again Manipur. It doesn't mean that I don't appreciate other six states. Assam is a big state, full of cultural richness, and it is the mother state of the northeastern states, from Assam's womb, other states have come up. Mizoram is one of the examples of progress after insurgency, or the violence can be replaced by peace. Today, Mizoram is one of the most peaceful states, and the progress that Mizoram is making is possibly in the northeast, next only to Sikkim, in terms of economic growth. Then you have Nagaland, a very unique state, a state where insurgency happened first, still continues, because people there are very, very tenacious fighters, and they stand for their rights. So Nagaland is an example of an warrior class in India, and it is taking off economically as well. Then you have Tripura, a small state where the governance is really appreciable, where corruption is under control, where the political leadership has shown that yes, you can govern the state through honest means without being corrupt. So all these characteristics of the states I have narrated to you, and each one of you has the reason to be proud of your own state. We have the crisis in the Northeast. Crisis of what? Basically the crisis of identity. And today, under the banner of the NSS, National Service Scheme, you have come together with different identities to merge your identities into the very identity which all of us belong to. What is that the first identity each one of us got? What is it if I ask any one of you, what is your first identity? What will you say? Will you say I am from Assam, I am an Assamist? Will you say I am a Khasi? Will you say I am a Mizo? Well, many of you would say, but they would be wrong. What is your first identity? Identity, first identity of any person is that I am a human being. That is the first identity. From being a human being, other attributes you, as, you acquire. You acquire the name, you acquire the language, the culture. But without being a human being, you cannot have all this. The basic identity is that of a human being. We are all human beings. And human beings can be good, human beings can be bad, human beings can be indifferent, human beings can be compassionate and cruel. So these qualities of human beings sometimes are in conflict. So while we have brought you together under this banner of the NSSS, it means that yes, we want to inculcate that goodness in human beings. When travelers from east and west, from opposite directions, 
come together, meet together, embrace together, realize that you are all under the same sky, in the same land. It is when the night will end and the dawn will begin. This story is very relevant to you now. You have come from different states of the Northeast. You have slept under the same sky, shared the same food, shared the jokes, shared the hopes and frustrations, appreciation and criticisms, and that is when you learn to live together. That is when in India dawn will come. Unfortunately in India dawn has not come as yet. We are still divided by various factors. There are more divisiveness in India than uniting factors. We want to fight the divisiveness. We want to create an India free from superstition, free from casteism, free from linguistic religious fanaticism, free from poverty, and free from all sorts of evils, where every Indian should feel the sense of belonging. Where every Indian will feel that, yes, I am first a human being. Where every Indian feel that every human being's response to another human being should be compassion and helpfulness. These are the most important thing is that learn, that remember that you have learned to live together here. That opportunity will not come. Each one of us need to learn. What is the first important ingredient for learning? Just think of it. What is the first thing that is required for learning is what? The first thing for learning is that I do not know. If you have the feeling in mind that I do not Unfortunately, most people don't realize it. Most people will say, I know. That means this man is a not a learner. You know, there is that saying, learn English. He who knows, then he, he does not know, but he does not know that he does not know. He's a fool. Avoid him. That he knows is asleep. He knows He's a wise man. Go to him to learn. We don't inherit this one from the womb. Of course, it's a different story in Mahabharata. Also. He learned only half. He could penetrate into the war. He could not come out. That you can get some job. You can be employable. This is all right. But this intelligence quotient. Then more important is emotional quotient. Your well-being then only you are a complete man. Positive emotion is an incomplete man. Nothing is gained from him. The society, the country will not be a complete man. And IQ can be learned half an hour. Though we start at 15 minutes late. So that is why I had the opportunity to speak to you. A few uh, words that I felt important for young minds, impressionable minds. And I wish you all the best in your life and we should happiness, prosperity, success, and fulfillment. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We to pay homage and condolence to the victims of our neighboring country, Nepal. I request all the members to stand for a minute for offering our condolence. Before, uh, we do this uh, silence for one minute. It is uh, a devastating earthquake in Nepal, a human tragedy. was acute in Nepal, but it was not confined to Nepal. We have in India, several deaths in India. We have even from Assam, seven persons died there. So it is for all of them that we stand today for one minute in silence, in their memory, and uh, in solidarity with the families who have suffered.
Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, very sad indeed, the computer program. Time was very short. A half to five days, not this festival come to an end. On the inaugural function, where we have been praised by chief advisor to the government of Meghalaya, as the chief guest, and today program with our reputed deputy chief minister of state, Professor Asita, who could not be present. But though he's not in dire, I am sure his mind and spirit is always there. I give my thanks and gratitude.